Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Near the Plymouth Nuclear Power Station, there was a 2.1 earthquake. Thanks to one of our community, they sent me a notice about this. You know who you are. Thank you very much. I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for their support. Many of you have been longtime supporters. Thank you so much. And it means even more to me since I've been demonetized by yeah, YouTube. They got in trouble for collecting data on children and are now passing that on to us. January 1st is going to see a lot of changes on YouTube. Probably a lot of cha changes meaning channels shut down. None of my videos for ch are for children. They're all for adults. I have a backup channel. It's called Mary Greeley News 777. If you want, you can jump on over there and subscribe. I have a lot of videos posted there that I don't post here about world events. Nuclear power plants are built to withstand up to a magnitude 5 earthquake. This is concerning. It's only a 2.1. Um, it was about 5 miles below sea level. As you know, those that follow me, all earthquakes are measured at sea level. And those that follow me know that worldwide, Earthquakes have increased in numbers and in magnitude. There was also a 2.0 earthquake near Rhode Island. That was 5 kilometers in depth. So that was about 3 miles below sea level. Yeah, it's concerning that we had this earthquake here. And I've talked about this area in the rift zone. Different fault lines and the possibility of a very large earthquake in this area. And past large earthquakes in this area. 48 people reported feeling this earthquake and it was only a 2.1 so it was probably larger. Looks like it was felt as far north as Concord, as far uh, west as close to Bucking Buckingham it looks like. Yeah and a lot of them of course in that area. How many people have an escape plan if there's a nuclear meltdown for this power plant? You would need an escape route for at least 50 miles from its location. According to the people that work at Plymouth Nuclear Power Plant, they didn't feel the earthquake. Well, I don't think they would admit to that, do you? Did I call it Plymouth? It's Pilgrim Nuclear Power Plant. I hope I didn't call it the wrong name. This plant is old. It was built in 1972. They said they were going to close it this year, did they? According to Wikipedia, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission estimated of the risk each year of an earthquake intense enough to cause core damage. To the reactor at Pilgrim was 1 in 14,493, according to the National Regulatory Commission study published in 2010. It says here too that the plant was shut down in May of this year and began the process of decommissioning it. Its spent fuel rods are still kept on site. According to another article posted today, it's going to take eight years to decommission the plant. And there's some controversy about the sirens. Who should t take over the sirens and give warning to people if there's a problem there? So USGS is saying it was a 2.1. Here it had it listed as a 2.58, a 2.36. Uh, 2.09 and a 2.13. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up my videos. Please stay safe. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the other backup channel. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.